Hey, what is up everybody? This is me, the ITKHQ, and today we'll be taking a look at iOS 7.1 Beta 2. So covering all the features that the Beta 1 and the Beta 2 brings. So let's jump straight in. Also, I'll be doing the coverage of uh, Beta 3 as well, so make sure you go ahead and subscribe uh, for iOS 7.1. Goodness. Alright, so taking a quick look at uh, setting. If you go over to setting, you guys can see the first thing is that you have this passcode option right here on the first page. You don't need to go to general then go to passcode, it's right here. So that's actually quite uh, quite convenient. Also if you go to accessibility, you have this option as button shape. So if I turn that on, you guys can see we have this kind of highlight right here. That just tells you where you have to tap to go back or to go forward. Pretty useless, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Also if you go to the notific, uh, sorry, the control center, you guys can see we get this kind of um, really awesome bounce animation. So that's actually quite cool as well and that everything remains the same also if you go ahead and open up the notification center you guys can see we have these labels right here of uh, no miss notifications as you guys can see so no notification no miss notification so that other kind of new thing in iOS 7.1 also we get a new iPad wallpaper I'm actually uh, currently using that I believe not really sure but I think it's this one that I'm actually using right now we actually are noticing right now that the animations are quite fast as well as you guys can see they are extremely fast a lot better than uh, that like they were back in iOS 7.0 so again you can go again to general you can go to accessibilities and again we have the option to reduce motion and that basically gives you this kind of like fade animation but actually I'm liking these new animations because they're actually quite quick don't really take that much time. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what's new in iOS 7.1. Nothing really that exciting, really. Again, Apple's point one updates aren't that kind of uh, incremental. They aren't really that big. Unlike Google, Google's like point one update, like 4.3 and 4.4. They are filled with new features. So yeah, that's pretty much it from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, the buttons down below go and subscribe make sure you like this video and comment down below and i will catch you all in my next one peace